Hello everyone, today I'm going to do the Caesars Cypher Challenge on Frito Camp. The basic summary of this challenge is you get a string, you receive a string inside a function, and they want you to take each letter of the string, so let's say S for example, and they want you to, to get the letter that is either 13 places more um, in the alphabet or 13 places less. So just an example, S, for example, so letter S. And we can't shift 13 places forward, right? Because there's not enough characters in the alphabet. So in that case, we have to shift 13 places back. So they want you to do that for each letter in the alphabet but they want you to exclude any non-alphabetic characters. So like exclamation marks or question marks or full stops or spaces. Okay, so we're gonna try and do this right now. I already set up um, an array that contains the alphabet, 26 letters in the alphabet, and a few non-alphabet characters. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna take the string and split it split the string into a separate, split each character in the string into a separate um, item. So to do that, we can just first create a variable. So let's call it array of values. And then we can select the string, string dot split and split. So when we console log array of values, you should be able to see the array of values here. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to loop through this array of values. So we can use a for loop. So now we want to find for each item in the array, we want to find that same item in the alphabet array. But more specifically, we want to find the index of that value. So we can use a function called index of, which will return the index of that value. And if there's, if they can't find that value in the alphabet array, it will return minus one. So let's create a variable for that. Index, let's call it index of value. And then, alphabet dot index of and we, and we want to find the index of array of values the exact element so in this situation it will take the first letter which is s and it will <clears throat> try to find s inside this array when it finds it it will return its index which in this case i believe is 18. so we can test that right now we can do um, console.log index value and we get 18 as the first one so s is index 18 in this array okay great so now we to create some conditions that decide um, that decide how to push not how to push okay, as I do it it will make more sense so this, the first condition will check if the item is non-alphabetic, is a non-alphabetic character. And if it's a non-alphabetic character, we don't want to shift the value. We just want to take that exact item and push it into a new array. So first, let's create a new array. So let's call it let decoded index values value index. So if index of value is greater or equal to 26, I know there's 25 let 26 letters in the alphabet, but the index starts with a zero. So this will be the 25th item in the array, and this will be the 26th. So all of these are non-alphabetic characters. So if the index is 26 or greater, 
then we want to just push it into this array. We don't want to do anything with it. So we can do it. Okay, else if the index of value is greater than or equal to 13. So if the index is greater than 13, we find it here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here, n. If the index is greater than n, then we're going to have to subtract it. So we're going to subtract 13 from it. Okay? And then else if um, the, um, the index is less than 13, then we'll add 13 to it. So we can do minus 13 um, index value index of value minus 13. Okay, and then we'll push that value into this array. else so that's anything less than 13 we can do let add 13 and same thing again push it into the decoded values index array Okay, so now if we console log this array, we should get um, the decoded index of each value. Does that make sense? So let's console log decoded values index. We'll forget we've got five. So we know S, the string we insert into this function, its index was eight, it's 18. So we, we subtract, we know that. 18 is greater than 13, so it's going to subtract 13 from this, so we get 5. 18 minus 13 is 5. Okay, and the same thing for E. The condition it meets is this condition, because E is less than 13, so in, that, in this case we're going to add 13 to this value. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so E is index 4. 4 plus 13 is 17. So now we're getting the correct the correct index values. Okay, so the last thing to do is we just need to loop through the decoded index values and, and take this index, take the alphabet from this index. So let's try and do this now. 4 bar i equals 0, i is less than decoded value. Length, I plus plus. Oops, so dizzy. Okay, so now if decoded index element is equal to exclamation mark, then we'll, we'll just push it into this new array that we'll create, decoded string. Array. So if it's I, we'll push it into this. Code is string array dollar push let's console log the decoded values index one more time okay so we still get the exclamation mark which is good 
So now we're going to put if it's exclamation mark or any of these non alphabetic characters, we'll push it into this array. Okay, there's probably an easy way to do this using regex, but um, I think there's more more clear. So poor. Or is equal to empty space. This just means or. So if it matches any of these, any of these strings, then it'll push the item into the this array. Okay. Else. Um, else we will get the so else then we, now we want to, with the index value that we have we want to find that the value of that index in this array in this alphabet array so we can do decoded um, string array dot push so we're gonna get the alphabet and this index is gonna be based on this value. Based on this value here. Okay, so now if we console log, console dot log, um, decoded string array, we get the. Ooh, okay, this is very interesting. So we get the an array of the correct decoded letters, but there's one small error. The O, the A is a zero, which is very strange. And it's because I didn't use the like definitive um, equal operator, like the strict equal op operation. If I do this, it'll go into A. That's because I think this empty string is equal to zero. It's the same thing. And it's, it's making this zero and then finding, um, it's just adding zero to it. So it shouldn't be like that. So if you use a strict equal operator, then it will correct this. Okay, so now we have the array. Now it's just for the simple task of joining this array together to form a string. So it's very easy to do. We can just do let decoded word equal <coughs> decoded string dot join now if we console log decoded word we get the correct answer so let's return decoded word run the test Bam. okay cool so that that was my solution to this challenge i did it did take me a while and when i checked the actual answer I realized that I went and buy it the wrong way. They used um, this thing to convert each character to a, to a number and then use that number to find the solution. The actual advanced answer is, weirdly enough, one line long, which doesn't look very good, whereas mine is 50 lines long, 42 lines long. But anyway, guys, hopefully you uh, found this video useful. Um, Subscribe, please let me know if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer them. Peace.